Hey everyone and welcome to our channel. Today, I'm going to be sharing some tips on what to do on the new iOS 17.1.2 version. This update includes a number of new features and bug fixes, so I'm going to show you how to get the most out of it. Step 1. Update Carrier Settings The first thing you should do after updating to iOS 17.1.2 is to update your carrier settings. This can help to improve your cellular connection and ensure that you're getting the best possible performance. To update your carrier settings, go to Settings. General. About. Your carrier settings should update automatically, but if they don't, you can tap on Carrier to force an update. Step 2. Update your applications. Another important step is to update your applications. Apple has released updates for a number of apps to fix bugs and improve compatibility with iOS 17.1.2. To update your apps, go to the App Store and tap on the Updates tab. You can then update all of your apps at once or tap on Update next to each app individually. Step 3. Remove Wi-Fi networks which you have internet issues and connect to them again. If you're having problems with your Wi-Fi connection, you may need to remove the network and then reconnect to it. To do this, go to Settings, Wi-Fi, tap on Edit, and remove the network you're having problems with. Once you've removed the network, you can reconnect to it by tapping on it again and entering your password. Step 4. Reset Network Settings If you're still having problems with your Wi-Fi or cellular connection, you may need to reset your network settings. This will erase all of your saved Wi-Fi passwords and VPN settings, so you'll need to re-enter them afterwards. To reset your network settings, go to Settings, General, Reset and Reset Network Settings. Step 5. Reset Keyboard Dictionary If your keyboard is acting up, you can try resetting your keyboard dictionary. This will clear all of your learned words and phrases, so you'll need to retrain your keyboard after you do this. To reset your keyboard dictionary, Go to Settings, General, Reset, and Reset Keyboard Dictionary. I hope these tips help you get the most out of iOS 17.1.2. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.